Hey guys, today we are going to make some repairs to this micro channel coil using the Alcott brand from Solderweld. And for more information, you can go on www.solderweld.com. Uh, this is actually what the Alcott packaging looks like. You can see it right there. And uh, this is what the brazing rod looks like. It's pretty small, pretty compact, works great. And today, you know, we're going to be showing you how to brace some leaks that we made here in this micro channel coil. Now, how many times have you gotten a brand new AC unit, uh, you pull the plastic siding off or you pull the wood siding off, and then there's a big ding in the coil and you're like, oh crap, what are we going to do? Now, a lot of people will say, well, we need to order a brand new coil. We need, you know, it's under warranty, it's under a shipping warranty. And, and that may all be true, but that could be weeks away before that customer is getting AC or air conditioning or heating, depending on what it's used for. And this micro channel coil can be repaired and, you know, and made almost like new while a new warranty coil shows up. Or let's say for whatever reason, uh, you've got an old unit and you've got a technician that's working on it and he's putting panels back together and he slips on the screw gun and it goes into the coil and it's got this big ding in it and all of a sudden psh, and he's like oh my god i got a leak what am i going to do well it's fixable and i'm going to show you how it's fixable today and so you don't really need to worry now if you look right here i've got some dings in our end i've got some spots in here more maybe like this one right here is where a a, a screwdriver went through or maybe a screw uh, went through and I've actually got some big punctures in here where maybe it was like something to do with shipping and I'm going to show you today how to fix that so you don't go oh my gosh this is crazy what are we going to do now what we're going to be using today is an ASCO torch a number three tip now I love the ASCO setup and I'll put some part numbers in about the ASCO now the reason I love this torch setup through the partnership of True Tech Tools is with the number three tip, I can replicate an oxygen acetylene flame without oxygen. And I get an awesome uh, uh, tip, I get an awesome flame where I don't melt the aluminum around it. And yeah, you guys are gonna be like, how can that be? Just, just trust me, just go with me on it. And I think you're gonna love everything about what you're gonna see. So some cool stuff here. Come along, let's make some repairs and let's get this coil taken care of. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna light the flame. Let's light the flame and get this guy going. Get it going. Now that's a number three flame. Uh, number three tip. It is, it is an oxygen uh, acetylene type flame, but only using acetylene. Uh, it's not a turbo tip, it's, a, it's an astral torch, and I love it. So let's go ahead and get some, let's get some brazing done, let's get some repairs. So as I'm doing this, I'm not going to clear the area away. I'm going to use the aluminum that's with it, and I'm just going to go ahead and work the system. Now, I didn't sand it. Let's go ahead and get that guy in there. Let's get it warmed up. And I'm going to use actually use the solder to come in underneath and kind of move it away a little bit. Way, move away some of that stuff. We're going to get in here. We're going to get that solder going. And you right there is a little bit of a tip, or it got a little too hot, but that's okay. We can use it and move that tip. Done. That guy's fixed. It was that simple. I'm gonna get this one right here. Here's again. I'm gonna use this right here. I'm gonna push that out of the way. I'm gonna get in there with the solder, the outcop. Now, it takes practice. So what happens is, there, that one's done. Let's get a little bit in there. Done. Let's find a puncture. Here's a puncture. Now it takes practice. So when I get these coils that come in on a, on a shipping problem and we replace them, I'll go ahead and practice in my garage. But that's what you guys need to do. You need to get your service tech and don't throw these coils away. You need to get the out top and you need to practice a little. And is this a, a, a perfect repair? No, it's not a perfect repair. And that one's taken care of. It's not a perfect repair, but you know what? So what you need it to do, it is perfect, and that is get the system back online until you get a warranty coil in here, and you get it done. Now you can find the Alcop at www.solderweld.com, great solder, and call Alcop, we'll get in here. 
Pull that flame away a little bit. Pull that flame a little bit. People are like, oh, it's easy for you to do. You've been doing it a while. Yeah, actually it has been because I have been doing it for a while. You know what, let's, while the tape is rolling, uh, we got a little puncture right there. Let's go ahead and make a puncture. Let's actually damage the coil so you can see. We'll get in right here, we'll damage this guy. There, that's a pretty decent puncture, right? Let's get in right here. That's a pretty decent puncture. Pretty good. Ooh, that's a good one too. So again, you know, if you're taking and um, you're using the Alcott brand, you know, the big thing to do is practice. Practice. Let's get that point. Oh, there we go. Let's get that whistle down, down a little bit. Let's get in right here. You can see what's happening right here, up close. Now you can get a hold of all of us at Solder Weld. I don't work for them, but I help them out on social media and stuff. There, look at that. Done, how fast that was. Let's find this other puncture down here. Now you may have to, after you do a leak repair, just like all leak repairs, you're gonna have to pressurize it with nitrogen. You're gonna have to get soap in here. You're gonna have to get some big blue leak detector in here and do some, uh, some soap bubbles. So you may have to come back in and do a little top off, but uh, you know, and a little bit of something, but you can see how easy it is. Like I'm not even prepping it. These coils are brand new for the most part. I'm not prepping it. I'm actually kind of using some of the solder or the aluminum that's there with it as a bonding agent. That one's good. There's another one up here. I think we had another one. One, two, oh, here we are right here. Pull that guy away. Again, this is not a permanent repair. The idea behind this is to get you into a spot where these little repairs can be made. You get your coil fixed and repaired, and at the same time, you're getting yourself down to where you can get a hold of the factory and get a brand new coil ordered. Now, you saw how easy it was using the Alcop from Solderweld, and that's how easy it is, but you're going to have to do some practicing. For me, I've done hundreds and hundreds of welds with uh, embraces with the uh, Alcop from Solderweld, so I've got it down pretty good. Again, I use a number three flame. I don't get it super hot. I don't want to melt the aluminum. I don't want to melt the, the, the tubing right here. I just want to get it hot enough so that the, the Alcop will stick. It'll settle inside. And then, like I said, I'll go behind. I'll pressure test it. I might have to do a quick little spruce on the braze, but for the most part, that's it. And that's how easy it is. And that's what I wanted to show you guys, how easy it is using the Alcop from solder weld. And it's workable and it's doable. And this coil's fixed and you saw, we did it right here on camera, it doesn't lie. So if you need any information, you can get a hold of me here through my social media. You can go online at www.solderweld.com, solderweld.com. Look for the Alcott brand of solders. And as always, work safe, be safe, be good humans, and we'll see you next time.